Hello, and thanks for watching this Acumatica video on importing and processing bank transactions. So if you've seen our other video about importing credit card statements, you'll know this process is somewhat similar. So feel free to switch between videos. So one of the things we need to do is import our transactions from our bank account. So there's two ways to do that. You can do it through your import bank transaction screen or right from the process bank transactions. So where we get the file is from your bank and I'll just bring up that screen. So you pick your date range. This happens to be Wells Fargo. You pick your date range and we like a QuickBooks QBO style format. However, you can use OFX and other file formats that are compatible. You can also use an Excel spreadsheet but the process is a little bit more manual. So we'll download our file then go back, click upload. So after we import, we can now see our November transactions along with our October transactions. And if we hit the button auto match, you can see Acumatica will attempt to match up our transactions. So if we look through this, we see a transfer from another company, and we could see there's a rule here. And if we go down, we could see there's another transfer here, and there's another rule. And if we take a look at the rule, you can see that this rule is for disbursements. So if we look, we can see that this is a disbursement. It's based on this description and we're using wildcard. So if we scroll over, you can see the asterisk. This means that the transaction description, if it starts with this, Acumatica will use this rule. Now, the resulting entry type is this entry type. Now, for those of you that are unfamiliar with entry types, they're basically an alias to a GL account. So we can go in here and we see that these are all selected. There's a deposit here. We'll have to take a look at that and see why it didn't match up. But what we can do is process the transactions as they are and then come back and finish off the rest of them. So now if we refresh, we can see just these transactions remaining. So there's two deposits, one in October, one in November. So what we'll do here, since we don't have an invoice to match to, and because I happen to know that this is a single deposit, we'll simply use the entry type rent. And we'll come over here and use rent. And what this will do in Acumatica is create this transaction and offset our revenue account. So let's click process here. And now we've completed the importing of bank transactions. We've matched the transactions to the ones we could, and we've created transactions in Acumatica so that we can later reconcile with our bank account. So that's it, it's that easy. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions at the end of the video is our contact information. Feel free to reach out to us. Thanks again.